Hello and welcome to the Gadget and Gizmo show on Headlines Today, a show where we get you the latest and the best from the world of technology. I'm Sahil Maniktala and this week we have a power pack episode lined up for all you guys and girls out there. But before we begin, let's take a quick look at the lineup. On the show this week, brand new DSLR camera from the house of Nikon. The new Assassin's Creed game is finally here. And we review some Chinese phablets that are all set to take over the Indian market. All of that and much more on this episode. All right, that was the lineup. And up first, what we have for you guys is the all new Nikon D4S camera, which is, of course, the replacement to the Nikon D4, one of the most popular DSLR cameras of all time. So it does beg to ask the question if the new D4 is actually worth the upgrade for professional photographers. Well, that's exactly what we try to answer up next in this review. Take a look. This is the all-new Nikon D4S, and it's both beauty and the beast. This camera is almost physically identical to its predecessor, the D4. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, as it's still deceptively light with the same solid weather and dust-sealed body that makes for easy shooting in almost any condition. The D4S also offers comfortable handling despite being large and having a built-in vertical grip. Perhaps the biggest advantage the D4S has over the older model is more power and loads of it. At the heart of the camera are an XSpeed 4 image processing engine and new FX format CMOS image sensor that enables shoot on continuous burst of up to 11 frames per second for almost 20 seconds, rattling off as many as 200 images before needing a breather. Even better is the fact that every frame has full autofocus and metering. The D4S resolution, however, is only 16.2 megapixels, and while that may seem small by today's standards, it does not in any way affect the overall performance of the camera. Images shot on the D4S can only be described as epic. Everything from skin tones, colors and exposures are almost spot on requiring little to no compensation even when shooting on the automatic modes. Quite simply, there's nothing better than this in terms of quality. The sensor and XP4 processor combine to allow the camera to shoot with a native ISO range of 100 to 25,600. With the maximum expansion setting being pushed to a whopping ISO 409,600. Making the Nikon D4S perfect for low light photography. The camera also features standard, neutral, vivid, monochrome, portrait, landscape scene modes and comes with a 3.2 inch LCD screen which has a 170 degree viewing angle. In terms of video capability, the new D4S is able to shoot at 50 and 60p on full HD resolution. Battery life is also pretty decent as it will provide enough power to click well over 3000 photos. Other specifications include Wi-Fi and GPS capabilities and a range of connectivity ports including built-in USB and gigabit Ethernet. The D4S is the ideal camera for professional grade photography. Its predecessor was already one of the world's best cameras for action and sports photography. And the D4S somehow manages to be even better. In fact, it blows almost everything else out of the water. But the catch is that it will set you back a whopping 4 lakhs 19,950 rupees. So it's not likely amateur photographers will be buying the D4S anytime soon. But if you are really serious about photography, then you might want to start saving up for this one. Now if you're both a technology lover and a sports enthusiast, then you might find this next review quite interesting. Sports giant Adidas has come out with a brand new smartwatch that they hope will be worth your time. Check it out. Adidas is the latest company to throw its hat into the ring of wearable devices. We 
beat the all-new My Coach Smart Run. And with this one, Adidas has packed in as much features as possible to set it apart from the competition. The watch is made up of a soft touch silicon strap material with stainless steel bezel, a magnesium back plate and weighs approximately 80 grams, making it look rather large and bulky. But despite the size, it's comfortable to wear. The watch features a 1.45 inch full color TFT LCD with a 184 by 184 pixel resolution capacitive touchscreen display. On board, there's Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and 4 GB of space for storing music. It also comes with a dual core processor which makes navigating the interface really simple, while a physical button located on the strap delivers additional functionality. The most interesting part here is the real-time cardio coaching that comes with a workout review and customizable training data screens. However, when it comes to battery life, the Adidas Smart Run seriously disappoints. It houses a 410 mAh lithium-ion battery that will last you slightly over a day on a single charge, but if you're planning to use it while running, then don't expect it to last even for that long. The watch is charged through a micro USB equipped dock that connects to the back of the device. A full charge takes under 4 hours which makes the less than stellar battery life more bearable. Apart from the usual watch and timer function, there's also a heart rate monitor on the back of the device and is able to take your pulse from the back of your wrist and relay the information straight onto the watch. And that too, quite accurately. Furthermore, thanks to GPS support, the MyCoach watch can calculate the speed, distance and route for your runs. Overall, the Adidas Smart Run is a decent sports watch, crammed full of the latest sensors and features, but the weak battery life is a major problem. And at a price tag of 24,499 rupees, it's a bit too expensive. So maybe give this one a miss for now. Now, when Chinese smartphone manufacturer Xiaomi isn't neck deep in security controversies, they do tend to, from time to time, make some pretty cool smartphones. And recently, they've launched the all new Redmi Note. And next up, assistant editor Sahil Gupta from India Today Digital gets you a review on that. Take a look. Xiaomi, the Chinese upstart, has brought out the Redmi Note. It promises to offer a great experience for less than 10,000 rupees. Let's find out how good it is. The Redmi Note is a massive device, especially for a 5.5 inch device. It's also very heavy. And one handed use with, with this device is absolutely impossible. But it's really well built. It's built out of plastic like a lot of Samsung phones out there, but it's really sturdy plastic and it feels really solid in the hand. The only downside out here is the bezels. The borders surrounding the screen are quite wide, which means the overall size of the phone is quite ungainly. On the front, the Redmi Note has a 5.5 inch 720p IPS screen. Now, this screen is not the sharpest screen out there, but it's a really nice screen. It's got lovely colors and it's really bright and you can use it even outside under direct sunlight. The Redmi Note is powered by a MediaTek Octa Core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz. This works in concert with 2 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal memory and obviously you can expand the memory using a microSD card slot. Overall this converts to really good performance, especially a phone that costs around 9000 rupees. Software wise, the phone runs on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, which is unfortunate because we have reached Android 5 Lollipop and this phone is still stuck on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. That said, it runs on Mi UI 5, which means more or less the look remains similar to other Xiaomi phones and you get most of the features that Xiaomi phones are known for. But still, uh, it's unlikely that this phone is going to get an update to Lollipop anytime soon. On the back, the Redmi Note has a 13 megapixel camera and this is a really nice camera. 
uh, in daylight the images are crisp uh, they have got a lot of detail and there's a very little noise on the front the phone has a 5 megapixel camera so you can get really nice selfies out here of course if you want to compare the 5 megapixel camera on this phone with the 1.3 megapixel camera on an iPhone 6 then there's no comparison but for a phone that costs around 9000 rupees the performance of this front camera is also very good this phone has a 3200 mAh battery this battery lasts around 25 to 26 hours on a single charge with moderate to heavy usage which means you won't be needing to carry around a charger the battery life overall on this phone is quite good for rupees 9000 this phone represents incredible value if you don't mind using a 5.5 inch phone which is admittedly large this represents great value why because it's got a great screen it's well built it's got a decent camera and it's got great battery life you really can't go wrong with this phone Okay, we're going to take a very quick break on the show now, but you guys don't go anywhere because we have a lot more technology action coming your way on the other side. See you very soon.